Howdy, it's Jubal Kane again, and this time with episode number nine of my series entitled What Makes It Work, and the topic of this one is thermocouples and how they relate to pyrometers. Pyrometers are used uh, every day by everybody in every household, but you may not know it, and we have thermocouples in uh, our furnaces and water heaters that are similar to this, and this isn't really the kind I, that I'm going to discuss, but they are also used in uh, ovens and uh, other heating devices around uh, the average household, so there's probably several thermocouples in your home, even if you don't know about them, and I want to talk specifically about uh, bimetal type of uh, uh, thermocouples like this and let me just give you give you a few examples of this and uh, these operate by thermoelectric effect and uh, you'll notice that in your mouth if you ever get a piece of aluminum foil or metal in your mouth you immediately have pain and that's because there's uh, dissimilar metals there you got aluminum and you got silver probably in your teeth and it produces a minute voltage but that can be painful and certainly very annoying at the very least when we take two dissimilar metals and in this case it's just a piece of uh, steel or iron wire twisted around a piece of copper wire so we have uh, two different materials here and when they are heated a tiny voltage a micro voltage is uh, produced and if you have a way of measuring that and then can uh, translate it into degrees we have uh, really what we call a pyrometer now that voltage is most minute so uh, if you're experimenting with them and playing with them you really need a galvanometer or I'm going to use a, a multimeter like this but a very fine uh, sensitive voltmeter is needed uh, certainly not the type that you, you might find around the average household but one that uh, can detect millivolts now I've got a couple others that I made too and here's one that is copper and aluminum so really uh, virtually any two dissimilar metals will work but some are so much better than others Probably the very best that is known by man is uh, platinum and uh, different alloys of platinum, but that is so terribly expensive that it isn't used, but it might be used in laboratories. But in uh, common pyrometers, and uh, let's see, I've got one here someplace, uh, perhaps this, uh, the other end here, this one, the blue end here, I'm not really sure what is in there, but uh, very commonly they use uh, chromel and alumel. And uh, chromel is a chrome and nickel alloy, and then uh, alumel is uh, aluminum and nickel. And there's a lot of other uh, different ones that they might use, but th those are ones that are tried and proven uh, in laboratories and, and have been used uh, for years and years uh, with great success. But let's take a look now at these simple ones that I have here. This is a homemade thermocouple, and it's nothing more than... Uh, a little strip of aluminum wrapped around some clean copper wire and the leads are connected to my craftsman multimeter here and I'm on volts and look where I've got the decimal place and this is an alcohol lamp maybe you can't even see the flame but notice that I will detect a minor voltage when I heat this thermocouple up watch the meter You can see it isn't much of a voltage. Now that's not telling me the temperature, that's telling me the voltage. Now this is copper and steel, not really considered a very good, and I have to get a, I need to clean this. I cleaned it, but it's probably not quite clean enough. You need good connections, but this is just an experiment. There we go. Can you see the meter? Now this is a professionally made uh, uh, thermocouple hooked up to the same meter. I gotta be careful I don't cross the, the wires there and get a short circuit. But watch the meter now as I put this in the alcohol flame.
Again, that's in volts, not degrees. Now let me hook this up to an actual pyrometer. This is actually a digital pyrometer I recently bought and I can measure temperature in both Fahrenheit and Celsius. It's 22 degree Celsius. Now I just cooled that tip in water so that's why this is a little bit cooler than room temperature. It's probably about 75 in here in my basement. But now as I put the probe into the alcohol sterno flame you will quickly see in degrees how hot it is. And this type of probe is sometimes used in, uh, in cooking meat. Thick pieces of meat where you want to know the internal temperature of it. So putting that into the flame and now looking at the, the pyrometer here it won't take too long before you see that go way up. So actually this is a voltmeter but it's calibrated in degrees. Here's a pyrometer that might be used by a serviceman for appliances and notice that down here it says thermocouple so I've got uh, two leads attached to the uh, those terminals and this uh, also reads in degrees Fahrenheit and this may not be calibrated for for this thermocouple matter of fact it probably isn't but you'll see this is the de Arsenival type uh, meter movement which is the most common and I really like uh, a uh, meter like this rather than the digital but digital is the way they've gone analog is what I meant to say I've got the tip I'm putting the tip into the flame and you will watch that needle move but like I say it's probably not calibrated and in fact I do not have a thermocouple for this what came in this kit at a garage sale is, uh, is just a bunch of leads that are all damaged and unusable. Now I'm going to use the little Craftsman uh, multimeter and it has uh, this feature where you can use a pyrometer or, or a thermometer. You can use it as a pyrometer mainly for automotive uses and it doesn't uh, get real uh, allow real high temperatures like for molten metal and so on but supposedly they have uh, another uh, thermocouple that you can buy but uh, in reading this uh, I have two of these uh, this is the standard K connector but on that little yellow connector it says chromel that's the positive and alumel is uh, is the negative and by the way by the way you do have to observe polarity on this or you'll get a, a negative reading or a bad reading now this is a great science project for kids in the seventh or eighth grade because you can so quickly make one of these and if you don't have a meter you can borrow one you know and these are pretty cheap now anyway uh, cheaper versions of this anyway but uh, taking this little thermocouple now and this is used for engine diagnostics so this is warm water in the can it isn't, it isn't real hot it's just tap water but watch the meter now I was talking a little too long and my water got uh, cold or cool so that's uh, another batch of fresh hot tap water and watch the meter. Right away it went up to 108, 109 degrees. It isn't real hot. And when I pull it out you'll see it cool down again. So this is a low temperature uh, thermocouple here and how accurate it is I do not know but it's probably about 75 degrees here in the basement and that's showing 70 so it's it's not right on in the way of related information for you kids watching this the word pyrometer is from the Greek pyro meaning fire and meter meaning to measure so try this for a science project or at the very least just uh, with your with your dad and uh, see how you like this with dissimilar metals and that is how a thermocouple works. This is Tubal Kane saying be sure and watch all of the videos in this uh, series that I have called What Makes It Work and I hope you find these interesting and I'll see you in the next video.